Welcome back to Disco Elysium. Today we will talk to Joyce about the meeting we had with the union boss. Then we will check in the check, cash in the check. <laughs> so we have money to sleep for the night. Then we will check the food in the hotel. I suspect it's drugged. And then we should get the key for the door that he asked us to open up. I'm unsure about that quest. It feels like we're doing something bad. We'll see. Let's get started. You're back before the cargo container. It's your attempt to turn the handle. Rusting control panel with several no screech of metal. The crane does. This is the night watchman's booth. The name. How do we get down there? Ah, never mind now. But there's money here. I want it. I had a pry bar in my hand and I tried to open it. So, how'd you like our harbor? It's but a rest area on the path leading across open plains. Right, you talk to the boss eye to eye, like men of the plain. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. A key, huh? What door is this key supposed to open? Oh, say no more. I got you. I got that key right here. And let me tell you, it's mighty good of you to help us out during the strike. Working class solidarity, as they say. Polar Weasel? Oh. I know what you mean. I'm pretty sure he's actually Occidental, though. I have no idea so what I'm pressing. <laughs> countryside, my racist friend. Okay. What you're looking for is a basement door behind the greenhouse. I regret That's behind that. The whirling and rise. <laughs> That's all I know. Our organization is what you call compartmentalized. Means we keep out of each other's business. The janitor gave it to me. Nice fella. We talked about life and things that really true none of this mess we're in, this jiving and job. I'm more of a philosophical dock worker. I like to talk about the big picture stuff. Who I am, who you are, what we are fighting for. Who he is and what they're fighting for? This is interesting. Ask him about the Hardy Boys. Los Ardis? They're an independent militant group. A bit too high strung, but it comes with the responsibility. They're sort of like you. Preserve the rule of law and all that. Except it's Everard's law. But really, they're just like you.
Um, is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know anything. Give me my money. Uh, wow. I didn't know you worked for the union, sir. Anything else I can do for you? That was easy. No, I should get the bottles transferred to money. Now I have to wait for the loading screen. The tear machine stands in the corner. Your bottles clunk into the... I'm rich. Okay, before we go to the hotel, let's talk to Joyce. Let's see if he, she has anything to say about this. Quest that we're doing. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? You have. And how did you like Mr. Clare? Finally, time to choose sides. Well, I'm not choosing his side. <laughs> of course, detective. Excuse me for implying otherwise. I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I'm not a corrupt verm myself. However, if you felt like passing some information, how could I stop you? Are we not human? Are we not curious to hear another person's take? It's only natural. We would only be gossiping. Intellectually speaking, it would be quite interesting to hear what she has to say about these things. But does she have a check to give me? Yeah, that's the important question. Well, these two options are crap. I mean, he's not helping me find my gun. He's taking my gun hostage <laughs> to blackmail me. But I still want to talk about it, but not in this way. This makes me look stupid. Oh. That's so... helpful of him. So very, very helpful. And how is that going? Do you have any leads on that gun? Did he now? Well, then it should be any day now. Unless, of course, he's lying to you. Anyway, was there anything else you've heard? Of course, Detective. Should something come up later? Until then, is there any... Well, that wasn't very helpful. Do we have a new point to add? Or what was that thing that came up? Apparently not. Let's go to the hotel. Check some stuff there before we do the time sensitive quests.
this Postla Vantorie mail collection box. The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod, acknowledging your presence. The man says a couple of sentences in that strange language of his and then seems to wait for you to speak. Hmm. Bors need more vodka? Of course, vodka. Now that makes a very, very special borscht indeed. Turn it up and then ask for some yourself. Turning it up seems like a dangerous idea, honestly. The place is a powder keg. The cook gives you a long, disappointed look, then turns the stove off and seems to wait for you to speak. The mention of manana gets his attention. He smiles and delivers a whole slew of unfamiliar words and lively gestures. Then he falls silent again. He looks up at you, then looks away quickly, shrugging and muttering something to himself. Shrugging is an international sign for, no, I don't know what's behind that. You see. Can I help you? Inconspicuous part. Okay, I need to get there. This must be it. The basement door is weather-worn. The copper nails holding the upholstery in place have turned green from sea air, and there's a knocker shaped like a lion's head. The leather upholstery is worn and rough against your jaw. You don't hear any movement. In fact, it's oddly silent in the yard around you. No birds chirp. You knock silently. The upholstery muffles the sound. No response comes from the apartment. You try to be as silent as you can. It takes a bit of rattling of the handle to loosen the bolt. Finally, the door unlocks with a small clack. Thoughts race through your head. Well, buddy, you opened it. No need to go inside. It would be rude. There might be important information in the apartment. I mean, there might. I mean, yeah. <laughs> There might be some information we want there, but this could also be death. <laughs> this could be the end if we go in and someone is waiting for us there, an ambush. We're gonna save and we're gonna go in, but if I die, I'm gonna cheat back. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This is the flag of Rivershaw, the suzerainty. This isn't just one sun, but there are little suns dancing around the big sun. This is the sevenfold sun miracle. It's an optical atmospheric anomaly the first settlers saw. Happens in cold weather. Six small suns around the big one. This complex halo phenomena is how old Revachol got its flag. The flag doesn't seem to mind. It's just a colorful fabric with a sun sewn onto it. Like all feudal flags, it looks like a children's drawing. A row of mugs sits on the shelf. Each one depicts a human figure. A dark-skinned woman grinning amidst mysterious symbols. A broad-shouldered man shoveling potatoes and others. A little ring. Though cheerful, the images on the ceramic make you vaguely uncomfortable. There's something disdainful in the way the curves and lines of the bodies were drawn. It looks like the artist is celebrating diversity, but underneath he's just making fun of these people. It's like the mug that we have. <laughs> I mean, what is this? Well, what is these options I get? I don't care about the mugs. If he likes these mugs, he can have the one I have too. But I want my badge and my gun. Of course, you slippery bastard. Yes, your broken mug friend would feel very much at home here. The same humor, the same mocking lines. I should leave it here. <laughs> the owner of this collection could be dumping his trash in the Whirling's container. True. But why did he throw out the mug? An interesting little clue. Let's see where this goes. Clues have a way of magically connecting to other clues down the road. Perhaps you should break into apartments more often. Who knows? Could be. But this clothes in a trash lead doesn't really seem like it's going anywhere. Still, good thing to keep in mind. You could ask Everard who this person is once you're done here. I don't want to change that. Why did I go in here? I have no idea. Okay, need to go back to him. This one, I need my badge and gun, I suspect. Yeah, this one, I don't think we can until the bridge is open. No idea where this one is. Well, Kim has the body now, so I can't do anything about it. Yeah, well, Kuno threw one piece in the river. The other one I need to wait for the bridge. The boots are still on the body. The chest piece, I have no idea where it is. And this one, we need to wait for the bridge again. We need to wait for Kim for this one, I guess. Or do we have another phone? Where could I find the phone? Yeah, yeah, it says here I need to use his car phone. And the bridge thing. 
Kim thing. Kim thing. Yeah, time thing, we will do that. Irrelevant. Always looking for it. This guy that we just went into his apartment. This one, I don't know who can help us. No idea. Relevant. This one time. Okay, so I guess we're going back to Evrot. Wait, was that the way to the other roof? I need to get out and check real fast. Sorry for this loading screen. I just need to check before I forget. Promising raised pupil. I didn't want to talk to him. Returns. I just wanted to go past him. I am not the first line of defense. I am the last. In addition, these so-called hardy boys are an effeminate clique of bodybuilders. Their company is spiritually degrading. The hardy manlets are on the pay of the company. I answer to the union alone. And I do this out of race heroism. Finance is an alien concept to the Simonies. Now leave me be. Yes, I will leave you be. Hopefully forever. That's an unnecessary loading screen. Now oh, this is the basement that we opened. I'm guessing the hotel is connected to this. I mean, there's 
the secret passage will most likely lead into his office. Mr. Dubois, every worker. And for his fellow man. That's right, Mr. Dubois. You're turning out to be quite the individualist there. So, you had business with me. What? Did I? Well done then, Harry. I like not knowing about it, and I'm sure you made the right call. I spend the whole day delegating tasks, and it's a great relief to see people taking initiative. I don't even want to know what all of that means. Brew, shady, alcohol, turned off. I'm going to let the world surprise me. I'm very glad to hear that, Harry. One question. You didn't actually happen to stumble in and see what's inside the apartment, did you? There is no way to sway this man in any direction. He is unsuggestible and unswayable. Just tell the truth. Just as I thought. Culturally antiquated mug collection. What a weasel. Pissing on Everart's Rainbow Coalition. Now let's get down to brass tacks. It's time for men like me and you to figure out who's killed who and why. Real police work is going to start happening now. I promise you, Harry, this is going to be good. Racist mugs in the trash and in the apartment. You guys are just light years ahead of me. I feel like he planted the mug in the trash for me. <laughs> I don't like this. I have so much confidence in the ability of your organization. I'm relieved you're doing this and leaving me to do what I do best. Helping people. With a pa Oh, no, 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 no. I don't cross paths like that. All I want is for you to succeed in your investigation. I would never complicate things for you. Believe me, Harry, he's a nobody. Just your basement variety nobody. Can't imagine him being connected to a high caliber case like this. But he does live nearby. Maybe it's a pedantic weasel. Fascists are neat freaks, if you don't mind me saying so. I feel like a real detective right now, Harry. Am I getting this right? Of course, Harry. Stoic silence. I like that. Very befitting a police officer. I'm not a real detective. You are. By now, I'm sure you've figured out who the dead man was working for. The bad guys. Wild pines. Sent to scare us. Another violent measure of the top hats against us flat caps. Harry, this strike is the culmination of many, many mistakes made by the Wild Pines group. They tried to shut the strike down by sending in armed mercenaries. A security contractor? Can you imagine that? Workers standing in peaceful protest, united in the spirit of fellowship, and they send hired killers to mow us down with machine gun fire? He performs a motion as if spraying bullets from a machine gun. I'm talking beasts, 
hardened killers from proxy wars in Yisut, Seminine, Sadamaritsa, you name it, they've done it. Raping, killing, burning villages, killing little children for the Senorita Pineapple Company, Harry. Everything they did there, they brought over here. They want to turn Revachol into a third world slum. Honestly, the only thing they didn't do is kill the village elephant. Now, I haven't personally witnessed the brutalities out there. I have the luxury of staying in my container, you see. If I need to go somewhere, they just move my container. About my fun container? It's a hoot, Harry. Who knows? Maybe you'll be in here the next time they move it. It will be very fun, I promise. But enough about me and my container. The killers the company hired, I think there were three of them. All hardened commando types. One of them got downright suicidal. Getting drunk, violent, a little rapey. Even their own negotiator couldn't control him. That's your boy. The one who likes hanging out and trees. Harry, what you need to realise is, we dock workers are not pushovers. We got grit, Harry. This whole neighbourhood does. Push us hard enough and we push back. And when we do, we push to kill. There's a militant wing inside the Union. A group of people whose duties don't involve manual labour, but peacekeeping in the neighbourhood, making sure everything runs smoothly. That sounds a bit like organised crime. They're like you. Idealistic people who want to make sure that bad things don't happen. And if they already have, well, punishment must follow. Again, that sounds like organised crime. Hmm. One day Titus Hardy, leader of this peacekeeping faction, comes up to me and says, Boss, socialist democratic fervor drove us to take it upon ourselves to kill this beast that was burdening the land. He probably worded it differently, but that was the idea. Sure sounded to me like they killed him. <laughs> I gave them two weeks paid leave and told them to lay low to avoid retaliation. Oh, I'm not at all worried about that. These are not the kind of men who get arrested. They're Martin A's boys, tough and gritty. I'd like to see the man who takes them in. Besides, I sent my lawyer girl to look after them. He places a lot of faith in that lawyer girl. Perhaps this is a tactical error? Anyway. Oh, they are simply fine young men. All seven of them. Exemplary union members. Always working to advance their position in the local socialist democratic movement. Core members. Old Theo used to run them, but things really kicked into gear when Titus took the reins and named the group after himself. <laughs> Gotta love his initiative. Harry, they're almost all of them great guys, born leaders. Whatever happened, I'm sure they only had the best interests of Revachol in mind. Work with them. Hell, interview them. But don't fight them. They really are just like you. Men who like beer, women, and some order on the streets. He's betting on them being useless to you. But of course, it's the least I can do for my good friend Harry. I'll do it right after we've concluded this talk. You can now go that to was a mistake. Hmm? See what that he has was... to say. <laughs> it's like a mistake. I don't know why I pressed it. Also, Harry, here's five real. I'm not giving you anything. I'm just holding out five real. I mean, I hate this. I'm gonna take it, but it doesn't mean that I'm loyal to him. If I get a chance to, you know, assassinate him, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Good boy, a real team player. Now, do you have any more questions? How do I know? Last winter, some poor workers in Terminal E went on a little strike. The company sent in Sediment, a security contractor. The strike was over the workers' right to wear protective footwear, Harry. These guys turn up and start beating people. Tell you what, Harry, I wouldn't be surprised if we got the same mercenary company. After a little rebranding, and I'm sure as hell not surprised to see an army of scabs under my gates. You said it, Harry. 
Hell, one of those guys looks big enough to take down that proverbial elephant. Boys like that don't just happen to show up during strikes. Absolutely, Harry. Absolutely. Oh, Liz is a bright one. I paid for that law degree myself, thinking it'll probably turn her all fancy. But hell, Harry, she came back a firebrand socialist. Sometimes she scares me with her zeal. Was it a good tour? I'm not sure we made much headway here. I was hoping we'd bust the case wide open. Heck, I even wanted to tell you what I really want to achieve with the strike. I don't know what happened, Harry. I wanted you to feel like Mr. Martin A's. And of course, I also wanted you to find your gun. But it's like I can't completely trust you. Yet. Yes, Harry. It's like I can't fully trust you if you're not a man of the left. I want to, but I just can't. A man of the left. So you have to be a social democrat. He's been hurt too much in the past by men who aren't social democrats. What does your heart tell you about your lost gun, Harry? Does it tell you to forget about it? Or do you think it wants to be found? I think it's lonely and cold. I think it wants to be found, and I have a proposal for you. Once again, I require nothing unethical or illegal of you. You just need to get two little signatures on this piece of paper, and then mail it to my accountant in La Delta. I'm glad you asked, Harry. The Union is going to build a modern youth centre in Martin Ames. It will be righteous. We're gonna get those teenagers off drugs and on roller skates. There's a nameless little street on the coast with some old houses around it. Most people have already signed. I just need two more signatures to get this mission off the ground, Harry. They are just gonna have to deal with the construction noise for six months and then they'll be living like kings. Right next to a fancy new youth centre designed by the best architects from Stella Marie. On the coast, Harry, across the canal. There's a cul-de-sac there, a little village they're calling it. A gloomy place. You'll find it. I trust Fishing your detective village. skills, Harry. You bring joy to my heart, Harry. Such a pleasure to be working with you. Here. You need to get signatures from Isabel Sadie and Lillian Carter. The cul-de-sac is right past the pawn shop and across the canal. I hear there is some trouble with the waterlock, but they should fix it by Wednesday morning. Once you have the signatures, mail this to 13022 La Roca in La Delta. Then we can talk about your gun. Most certainly, Harry. No by all means, Harry. Let's see if there's a thought worth exploring. these even worth it I don't understand the point of them I mean it was worth it to get access to the gate when we talked to that big guy but I don't know what this one will give me like what's the point or this one doesn't like link it to a quest
I'm just gonna save the point and not use it right now. See if there comes up like a situation where we do need to use a point. You take the legal documents out of the envelope. A 12 to 40 month construction period and the zoning plan in the addendum. There is no loophole. The simple truth is the current residents are going to lose their street access and for the next 12 to 40 months, their lives will be dominated by constant construction noise right next door. Once the construction starts, it'll probably take a few months, a year maybe, for even the most stubborn occupants to get tired of living like this. After that, they'll sell their property for cheap and move out. Well, you could trick Everard. Get some random people to sign the document. By the time the union boss finds out, your business here will be already concluded. What's this? We're getting reports of normal, reasonable, temperate, political opinions somewhere in Martinez. The air suddenly feels calmer, more transparent in a strangely tender way. Perhaps it's the hangover. Perhaps it's a temporary surge of serotonin. But something tells you it's time to become a citizen of the Kingdom of Conscience. I knew we could trust you. Remember, real democracy is just around the corner for Revachol. When that real democracy kicks in, we are all going to be so much happier. Half light. No, I will become less threatening. But it's temporary. How long is this temporary? Is it while it's researching or what? I'm not gonna give him the signatures. I just want my gun and then I'm out of here. sign it for me. Why can't I just fake this signature? to sign this document. The scabs, Joyce maybe. I don't know who else, people from that haunted building maybe. Kuno maybe. <laughs> You. 
No, I don't want to ask any of those questions, do it. Let's see if Kuno wants to sign it. Kuno, my old friend. Fuck, does Kuno care? Kuno doesn't... Kuno doesn't care, apparently. Yet he doesn't want to sign it. Do you want to sign the paper, child? Hello, sir. How is the investigation going? Found any curses yet? Oh, that's great! I hope exciting adventures lie ahead. And maybe you can help Mother become less afraid. Oh, that's Auntie Billy. She's nice if a bit distressed. Oh, no, no, sir. She's a working woman who comes to look at the books a lot. I think she is a bad husband. Not very nice or helpful. Do you want to sign? I don't mean to disrespect, sir, but you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. I don't even have a cockatoo. And guess what? Even if I had, it wouldn't be missing. Great. Nothing. Go re Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain? Or your heraldic bird? Please, let's- The woman bef- I don't want any more weird quests. <sighs> Who wants to sign it? Do the bookstore lady wants to want to sign it? I suspect not. Hello again, esteemed officer. And welcome to crime, romance- Bye. Maybe Joyce wants to sign it. I suspect she will not because she's a lawyer type and most likely she doesn't want her name to be on things. But let's check anyway. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Not an umbrella, I hope. I don't need one myself, you see. Sadly, I need this one myself. It's hydrophobic. Repels water. Almost magically. The company makes them for offshore platform personnel. Very sturdy. What I can do for you is answer some questions. Nothing like talking to pass a rainy day. No signature. Okay, we'll go into the hotel. We'll figure out the signature thing later. Let's check what the Hardy Boys have to say, now that they should be more helpful. I thought he might want to sign. got nothing to say to you. Why I suggest not wasting time on trivial pleasantries and focusing on why you are actually here. Titus Hardy. Even though she has excellent control over herself, something moved behind her eyes, in the way she stands, in her face. You caught her off guard. Push her some more. You are not here to chat up the legal counsel. You are here to question these men. 
You set the pace and the topic of these conversations here. Establish that. I represent the Union and these men here. Don't make this personal. A very minor victory. <laughs> Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Oh, so you went and talked to my mommy, and now she's making me play with you. Is that it, low man? Yeah, you're my bitch. No, no. But still, it will help. And what's gonna happen if we don't? You gonna go and tell on us? Yeah, yeah, I heard him. The fuck do you think I'm doing here? You'd have your ass handed to you if it wasn't for the boss man's word. Yeah, okay, keep it to yourself. Let me state this very clearly, capo. <clears throat> Hello, officer. I'm Titus Hardy, and these are my boys, Hardy boys. How may we assist you? Again, just get the dead guy's autograph, since you're his biggest fan. <laughs> Good one, Titus. Yeah, lawman. Why don't you? It's almost an anthropological sight, watching him try to assert dominance over you. Not in the arresting mood? The little rat-faced man reaches into his sleeve. There's a knife in there. Some of the others reach for their belts. Guns are stocked between the belts. Three, maybe four firearms. Although Fat Angus might be just pulling up his pants. Not sure. Wish I had my gun, still. But I can't do anything without it. <laughs> Wise move. About fucking time. Well, this wasn't any progress. Can I help you? No, you can't help me. Well, this is it for this part. We'll try and figure out some way to get more information next time and forge the signatures then hopefully we get Kim back soon he would be helpful in these negotiations we've been having <laughs> okay thank you for watching and see you next time bye for now